Hello Taurus and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on. What does Taurus need to know? Love, lust, or loss for Taurus. Let's see. Oh, we have a secret admirer. I like to watch. I like what I see. I fantasize about you and me. So there's something about you, Taurus. Something that they very much like. Your eyes, your smile, the way you handle yourself. You are under thorough observation. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on here. A few cards for you. A few cards for them and then the outcome. All right, if this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Taurus, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however, it resonates with you. This is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Let's see. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be a more emotional connection. Um, I've got the Queen of Cups and I've got the King of Cups here. So when these two pop out together, right? When the masculine and the feminine of the same suit come out together, um, to me that's soulmate. To me that's someone on your same page and um, is ready for, considering its cups, is ready for um, something uh, deeper and a little bit more spiritual as well uh, in regards to relationships. So that's beautiful. Um, and I also feel this is, we've got the high priestess here and we've got the magician. So if you allow um, this person to enter your space, this is going to be one of those dynamics where one of you thinks it or feels, feels it, right? And the other one is able to um, bring it into reality, make it work, make it happen. So it's a very spiritual connection and it's going to be a very a soulful connection and a very deep emotional one as well and it's more advanced right and and I feel like you need to tap into your intuition and see who is in your atmosphere right now because they got a lot, a lot of love to give and you know so do you so Queen of Cups, very intuitive. Um, I feel like I feel like this is you over here where you're at that crossroads and you've been processing a lot of deep emotion from the past, but it's like you you're coming out of your cave, right? We got the hermit here, and you're very successful and you see a clear path. You see the past for what it is and you're carving a new path towards some new adventures here. I see you at that crossroads. So you're following your heart, you're following your intuition after a really hard time in on your love journey. And when this person comes around and starts, you know, kind of calling you in here, I, I feel like you're going to kind of be unsure, but they are very sure, right? Because they've been... Um, kind of watching you for a hot minute. 
So follow your heart, follow your intuition. This is the type of energy that you've been dealing with, right? Wild and crazy and very inconsistent type energy. That's you're cutting that energy off. And I feel like a lot of you as you know, some of us like the bad boys and the bad girls and gets us going. Um, however, this energy is very different than that. This is a softer, more caring, more loving energy. It all depends on what you want in your space, but I feel like you've had to heal from this type of energy and you simply don't want it anymore. You're moving forward. You could be dealing with a cancer or somebody with cancer in their chart. You're having a victory over your past. You've conquered it. You see it for what it is. And that, somet that sometimes, you know, that's a hard, a hard lesson to learn, right? But you're moving on. You're moving on, bottom line. And this person is able to not only meet you on a spiritual level and emotional level, but they want to do things the right way. And like I said, they've been watching you for a while. So they're taking their chance. You know, that Knight of Pentacles is very slow. Um, but they feel that there's an opportunity here and they're going to take it. Like, Finally, I, I'm getting the green light to make my offerings to Taurus. So I feel like this person has kept their feelings for you hidden. The High Priestess is a keeper of secrets. They see a beautiful future here. They're worried about what you think of them. So we've got Judgment here. We've got the Ten of Cups and we've got the High Priestess. Their higher self is like whispering, go for this Taurus, go for this Taurus. They're listening, right? But they had to kind of wait. And I feel like that's why the Knight of Pentacles is here to say something. Because you've been kind of in a, in a healing and purging process. Seeing the past for what it is, conquering the past, and now you're at that crossroads and ready to to go on new adventures and, and new love journeys. And um, at the end of the day, it's going to be up to you on if you feel what they're feeling. But it's if you are feeling what they're feeling, um, it's going to be one of the most powerful love experiences of your life. That's what I want to say. So we got the hermit here. You've been processing. You've been healing. You're ready to come out of your cave. And you're very successful at, at doing so. So that's very good. You could be dealing with a Virgo. We got the two of wands here, if I didn't say that before. And we got the ace of swords. So you're just kind of... You're right there, right? You you are seeing very clearly now after a very confusing experience with an inconsistent past energy. And you're ready for something new. So I feel like this person has been kind of manifesting you. Maybe some of you are picking up what they're putting down, but they want to create a reality with you in it. They are unsure if you feel the same. And I feel like you're also going to be unsure. They've been waiting for you to completely and totally drop a very chaotic past. You see all this rough water? And now they're determined to make it happen. We got the magician here, King of Cups energy. So if given a chance, this could be one of the most powerful love experiences in your life with someone that is a lot more spiritually and emotionally advanced than what you have experienced so far. Okay, so 
love, lust, or loss for Taurus, that is love if you want it. All right, I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials, and I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless.